Dear viewers, I am Muhammad Abdul Sami Siddiqui, Director CPDMT Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. I welcome you to this class of MA English first year. Today we shall talk about Indian drama in English. You all know that the origin and development of drama in India can be traced back to Vedic period. We find performative elements in the Indo-Aryan rituals. Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra is a major contribution of India towards the theory of drama in terms of rasas and bhavas. In Sanskrit drama, we find plays which were inspired by Ramayana and Mahabharata. The writers like Bhasha had written such plays. We also have Kalidas who wrote romantic plays like Abhigyan Shakuntalam. When we move to the medieval India, we find Bhavbhuti who wrote plays based on Uttar Ram Charitra and also on Mahavir Charitra. Harsha's plays also deserve a special mention. He has written a Buddhist drama. In the medieval India, we also find Bhakti movement wherein the regional languages dominated the scene and the folk theatre came forward. During the colonial period, regional forms of drama were popular. For instance, Ram Leela in Gujarat, Nautanki, Ram Leela, Ras Leela in north of India and Tamasha in Maharashtra. Indian drama in English began with Translations of Sanskrit Dramas. 1831 is an important year to be remembered. Prasanna Kumar Thakur had established the Hindu Rangmanch in this year. And that's where we find the beginning of Indian drama in English. In his theatre, the English translations of Bhavbhuti's Sanskrit play Uttar Ram Charitra was staged. Another important development which led to the progress in Indian drama in English is the establishment of Parsi Theatre Company which happened in 1852 or 1853. In the pre-independence period, we have Krishna Mohan Banerjee whose play Persecuted came in the year 1837. Dear students, please remember that Krishna Mohan Banerjee's Persecuted is the first play written by an Indian in English language. During the same period, we have Michael Madhusudan Dutt, whose play Is This Called Civilization came in the year 1871. Dear students, you all know that Ravindranath Tagore is a major dramatist of the pre-independence period. He originally wrote the plays in Bengali. Later on, they were translated into English. Some of his major plays are Chitra, Chandalika, Muktadhara. Another important playwright of this period is Sri Aurobindo. He has written plays in the blank verse. He has five complete plays and some incomplete plays to his credit. Harindranath Chattopadhyay wrote a play called Abu Hassan, which was staged in the year 1918. From 1926 to 1942, ASP Iyer contributed six plays. In the clutches of the devil and the trial of science for the murder of humanity are important plays by him. P. A. Krishna Swami's play Flute of Krishna is an important play of this period. T. P. Kailasam's plays were performed from 1933 to 1964. So he is a playwright who began writing in the pre-independence period and continued writing in the post-independence era. Bharti Sarabhai is another important playwright. The play Well of the People deserves a special mention. In the post-independence drama, we have Manjari Ishwaran, 
whose play Yama and Yami was published in the year 1948. G. V. Desani, Dev, M. Krishnamurti, S. D. Raut are other important playwrights of this period. G. V. Dasani's play Hali came in the year 1950. Lakhan play Tiger Claw came in the year 1976. He had another play to his credit which was Vivekananda. It was published in the year 1972. One more important play by Lakhan Dev is Murder at the Prayer Meeting which came in the year 1976. Krishnamurti's play The Cloth of Gold came in the year 1951. S. D. Raut's play Immortal Song and Karna and another play The Killers came in the year 1959. Among the other playwrights of this period we have Sri Devi Singh whose play The Purple Braided People deserves a special mention. We have P. S. Vasudev whose play Sunflower was a theatrical success. We also have S. Raman whose play Karna came in the year 1979. Among the prolific writers of post-independence period we have Asif Karim Boy who has written several plays which were staged, published and anthologized in various syllabuses. Some of his important plays are The Tourist of Makkah, The Restaurant, The Captives, Goa, Monsoon, Inkhilab, The Refugee. These plays were staged in the span of 19 59 to 1971. Pratap Sharma came on the scene of Indian drama in English with his play A Touch of Brightness in the year 1968. His another important play is The Professor Has a War Cry. Dear students, there were certain poets who also contributed to the field of Indian drama in English. One of such poet is Nisim Izikil. His book Three Plays was published in the year 1969. Among these three plays we have Nalini which has the subtitle of a comedy. Another is Marriage Poem which has the subtitle of a tragic comedy. The third play is The Sleepwalkers. Here the subtitle is An Indo-American Farce. So with the subtitles themselves, Nisi Musical declares what form of drama he is writing. Among the women playwrights, we have Mahashweta Devi whose play Hazar Chaurasi Ki Maa was translated into English as Mother of 1084. Her other plays were also translated into English. Please remember that there are four major playwrights who contributed to Indian drama. They are known as the four pillars of modern Indian drama. They originally wrote in the regional languages Later on their plays were translated into English, Mohan Rakesh, Badal Sarkar, Vijay Tendulkar and Grish Karnad. Mohan Rakesh wrote plays in Hindi, Badal Sarkar wrote in Bengali, Vijay Tendulkar wrote in Marathi and Grish Karnad wrote his plays originally in Kannada. Later on the works of these four playwrights were translated into English. One of the major play by Mohan Rakesh is Adhe Adhure, which came in the year 1969. It was translated into English as Halfway House. 
Badal Sarkar's plays, which were originally written in Bengali, opened a new form of drama known as the Third Theatre. Evam Indrajit, that history, there is no end, Bhuma are some of his major plays. Vijay Tendulkar brought in the social realism through his plays, which were written in Marathi. Shantata Kort Chaluahe, Ghashiram Kotwal, Sakharam Binder, Kamla, Kanyadan are some of his plays. The play Shantata Kort Chaluahe was translated into English as Silence, the court is in session. In each of his play, he talks about a different social reality. Grish Karnad wrote the plays in Kannada. His plays Toglak and Dreams of Tipu Sultan are the examples of historical plays. His plays like Havadana and Nagmandala are the examples where the story is based on some mythology, Indian mythology. But the problem that he discusses in the historical plays or the mythological plays is the contemporary one. Among the contemporary playwrights, we have Mahesh Datani as the major Indian playwright. Dear students, do remember that he is the only playwright writing in English and who has received Sahitya Academy Award for his play Final Solutions. His other plays are Tara, Where There Is A Will, Dance Like A Man and Bravely Fought The Queen. Out of these plays, Tara is prescribed in the syllabus of our university. You will find a separate video on IMC Manu YouTube channel discussing about the various elements of the play Tara, its theme and techniques and other things. Among other contemporary playwrights, we have Manjula Padmanabhan, whose play Lights Out is an important play. Then another play by her is Hidden Fires. Among the important women playwrights, we have Pauli Sen Gupta. Her play Mangalam deserves a special mention. Another important play by her is Das Spek Shurpankha, So Said Shakuni. Keats was a tuber is also an important play by her. Dear students, do remember that among the contemporary dramatists, we have Mahesh Datani, Manjula Padmanabhan and Pauli Sen Gupta. There are other playwrights who have contributed to Indian drama in English with one or two plays. Among such playwrights, we have Cyrus Mistri, Zubin Driver, Vikram Kapadia, Farhad Surabji, Anupama Chandrasekhar, Iravati Karnik and Aisha Menon. These playwrights have contributed either one or two plays in the recent times. Apart from these playwrights, we have Ramu Ramnathan and Abhishek Majumdar. Ramu Ramnathan has written plays like Three Sakina Manzil, Mahadev Bhai, Collaborators, Cotton 56, Polystra 84 and Three Ladies of Ibsen. Abhishek Majumdar has written plays like A Small Small World. An Arrangement of Shoes. His most recent play is Rizwan. Dear students, let me summarize what we have discussed today. The origin of drama can be traced back to Vedic period in India. And Bharat Muni's Natya Shastra is a major work on the theory of drama. We have also talked about the Sanskrit playwrights, the playwrights from the medieval period and especially the playwrights during the colonial period. Our focus is on dramas written by Indian people in English language. And you all know that Indian drama 
emerged out of the British influence. For a detailed study of the topic, you can refer to K. R. Srinivas Iyengar's Indian Writing in English or M. K. Naik's History of Indian Literature. You can also contact us on the address given on your screen. Thanks a lot. We'll meet some other day with some other topic of your interest.